Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, where I normally go over the data in the Phoenix area real estate market, but today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of living here. And if you like it, be sure and hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the like button anyway. What's one of the biggest pros about living in Phoenix? It's this, the Grand Canyon. It's only five and a half hours from here. A lot of people go up, you go up to Flagstaff, you hang a left, and uh, they stay in the town of Williams, which is a neat little town, and they have a train. A train takes you up to the Grand Canyon, and uh, a lot of people like to stay up there the whole day, come back. Some keep going and go to Vegas. Um, so it's a fun, fun trip. Not too far from there <clears throat> is Sedona. Sedona's about two and a half hours outside of Phoenix. Its most popular time of year is October. They call it the wedding season up there because the views are just spectacular. And in the summertime, it's a great getaway to get away from the Phoenix heat down here in the summertime. You get up there. Now, it's still warm. It's 80, 90 degrees up there, but it's not as blistering as you get down here in the valley. Another town not too far from Sedona that's fun is the town of Prescott, like Biscuit, surrounded by pine trees, parks, lakes, a really nice, cool western downtown feel, a uh, great majestic city courthouse. And you could spend the whole day there just shopping and eating. So head down further south, about four, four and a half hours, I think it takes to get to the town of Tombstone, the old western town with the OK Corral. Go down there. That's a lot of fun. It's a long drive, though. One of the things I also like about Arizona in March is our spring training games. Now, this year, 2022, I don't know if we're going to have any spring training because right now they're still on lockout. So nobody's there. I don't even think they're having talks right now. So we'll know in a few weeks if we're going to have spring training. So I hope that doesn't change. So those are the fun things I like. Now, the other thing, we are about five and a half hours away from San Diego. So if you need to get a beach fix, or you can drive about three and a half hours and go to the beach community in Mexico called Rocky Point. Some great seafood down there as well. You can places to camp your RV, or you can rent some beautiful houses and condos right on the beach. And uh, it's called Puerto Panasco, and that can be kind of fun. The biggest con, I think, of living here is the summer. Yes, that does say 118. About the week before the 4th of July is when we get our hottest. We always get hot right at the end of June. I mean, blistering hot, 118 to 120. And uh, this draws in all the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. And then that begins our monsoon season. Some summers, the monsoons are very active. We get a ton of rain, huge wind storms, dust storms that are called haboobs. And then some summers, we shake our head like two years ago and say, what happened? We didn't have any. We maybe had two. And it was hot. It was the hottest summer I've ever had living here. And it, just, it can just wear on you because it's still hot in September. And the kids go back to school about the third week of July, so at least you get to send them to an air conditioning building because nobody's playing outside. So summers here are tough, and especially if you if you own pets. Now, the other thing that we've got going that just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse is traffic. Yeah, we're building new freeways, we're adding new lanes, but it still stinks. And if you're coming from the West Valley into downtown or the East Valley into downtown, it's getting more challenging every year. Now, we're not anywhere near as bad as Los Angeles where their traffic's bad every day, even on Sunday. We're not that bad, but it's, it's no picnic. So if you are looking to relocate out here and you're working in downtown Phoenix, I don't recommend getting too far out of town unless you like riding in a car. The other con that we have right now, we're all hoping to get some relief on and don't know if it's going to happen is our cost of living. Price of homes keeps going up, up and up. We've gone up almost 50% in the past two years. That's pretty brutal. Interest rates have come down. That's helped the payment a little bit. They're starting to edge up a little bit now where they're going to end up. Nobody knows. And what's going to happen to house prices? Nobody has an answer for that. But it's a big con right now when it comes to affordability. Unless you're coming from California, then you're going to absolutely love it. I don't know how people can afford to live in California. The other con when it comes to traveling is those nice places I showed you in the, that we'd like to go to in the summertime, like Flagstaff and Prescott and Sedona. Everybody likes to go up there in the summertime. So on Friday evening, around 6 o'clock, 
I-17 is just bumper to bumper. And sometimes there's an accident on the freeway and they either close it or you're just barely inching along. I don't like to go to those places on the weekends in the summertime. I like to go like on a Monday and a Tuesday because um, even coming back down on Sunday, it's rough. Unless you get up early Sunday morning and come back. So I used to like to go up to like Payson and get up really early Saturday morning and go up and then leave really early Sunday morning and come back just to avoid some of the traffic. So that's a major con. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at what there is to do in and around the Phoenix area and I hope you come and visit us soon. Thank you.